Welcome back, this is the next episode of Xenosaga. In this episode, we're going to um, destroy this and head down, I think. No, we're not, we're going to get the cure. Oh, it's a box, what's in the box? Revive DX, fantastic. What every growing boy needs is a revive DX. Should we arrive, revive down here? And then there'll be a gnosis somewhere around here as well. There we go. You can't go in here, so it's just a bit of a dead end with stairs that lead to another dead end. This place is grim, drab, and even more drab than the other areas have been to. Um, but don't worry, Xenosaga 3 far makes up for the areas. In fact, Xenosaga 2 does. In fact, really, and we're going to be honest, some of the later areas in Xenosaga... Xenosaga 1 is predominantly grey, mainly because of the areas you go to. It's dark, it's shifty, it's like, oh, what the hell is going on here? Oh, why didn't I sw switch Ziggy in? Gosh darn it. You know what? Guard, and uh, let's just let's just come at this from another angle then, shall we? Okay. And not at the angle of giving us panty shots of Shion. Although I'm all for it if it means no panty shots for a moment. This is a, this is an increasingly Japanese game, so of course I am accepting that um run away. Oh well uh, they do make electric type noises. Okay. I'm afraid, Momo, your time is up. Your time is replaced by Mr. Zigzigs. Which should have the kind of item which I'm looking for. Let's just go through and check if we've got other points now. Um, boost one, 360. What the, I want to see what it evolves into so I kind of have an idea. No, oh, well. Gotta wait till 360 points, which will be a nightmare. What about Momo? Uh, she can evolve one at the moment, which is what I've already evolved. I kind of need her later on anyway to steal some items from the final boss, but that means I'll have to do some grinding anyway. Uh, we can't evolve anyway. It's a pity can't let's look at what we can evolve into so we have some idea to plan what the hell we're doing. Oh my goodness, Ether points. She just doesn't understand Ether points. Oh. What about skills? They should have gotten. There yeah, we go, skill points. Oh, sad face. Equal sad face. They're only on level 2, which is why. She's only still on level 1. Oh, this is confusing. This is making me dizzy. I'm not gonna bother. Let's get back into the battle then and hope it works. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Uh, let's get one of those up. <laughs> battle theme's good. Norm, my biscuit fell apart. That's brilliant. I hate when biscuits fall apart. You know what really I did, don't like? Biscuits being spelt wrong. Because a biscuit is a biscuit. A biscuit can be a cookie, but it can also be a biscuit. Biscuits are bizarre. Okay, what's piercing? Okay. Oh, oh, oh why? Ziggy, my man. Why? Right. There must be light. I can't use lightning on him. I mean, Cyber Kick seems like one of the best things to use, but I don't think it's piercing. But that was a complete waste of a go. Don't have the tech points to even put that on anyway on him, really. 300 tech points is. Man, that was a waste of a go. Uh, let's, see how, let's see how damaging he is with his regular attacks. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, not bad. So he can take them out. Good. Ziggy, my man. I'm going to call him my man now because... Ziggy is one of the, um, Xenosaga had a lot of cuts, as you can all imagine. Um, in fact, in, it's so much cuts, so much, so much so, that, um, the game, some of the, ep well, a lot of the elements of episode 2 were actually in episode 1. Now, I'm kind of glad that they weren't, because, as it is, this is quite a long game, and the cutscenes are quite long, and I, you know, it nearly didn't fit on a, on, on a one disc. And I think when that's, when you've got that problem, you know, you need to look at what you're doing, but I think mainly the issue which I think is it led them to try to change the uh, the graphics so we got Xenosaga 3 as it is and to be honest I think Xenosaga 3 was worth the Xenosaga 1 2 and in fact the Xenosaga series was originally going to be six games two games were going to be each arc if you like now each arc were going to be about the characters and how um, it's I think the only people who would stay in each one is like would that be Cosmos and Chaos I think now, the rest of the characters, it will be told from their perspective, to, like, for two games. So, for example, episode two of Xenosaga was meant to, 
was meant to be in episode one, and um, episode three was meant to be episode two fully. It's pretty confusing, but it made sense anyway. What was this one to do? Fantastic. Why would I want to operate elevators to go down there? That makes little sense. Oh, I know why, because we need to get it to go across here. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, ignore me. Okay, well, there is an enemy mount here that we're going to run head on into, but there is also somewhere later on um, where we're going to need to... Um, there, we go. yeah, we're going to need to do... I think, did they get the first go? Buzz. That's not good. Man, I'm tired already. Uh, let's get those. Blow it look like that. Great. I should, I should have really targeted the one that um, was attacking next, because if they sleep, no, they can't sleep as well. Look, they have full health, so that's good. Is that gonna better not go coast coast? It's on Ziggy again. Great going, guys. Great going. But as I was saying, it was originally meant to be series of two, and then each different arc would be involving the, the two main characters. But the story as it is, I really like it. I mean, Ziggy suffered the most out of all of the characters which backlines were cut. Shion, I don't think, suffered much at all, really. Shion was fine. I think, yeah, but Shion was fine. Um, that's the one that's attacking next killer. Christmas backstory you kind of get anyway. Um, Junior's backstory, you get a lot in episode 2. Episode 2 is basically about Junior. Now, for those of you who hate Junior, you'll actually see well, it, it's really about Negredo and Albedo. We've seen those two already. Um, actually, we haven't seen Negredo just yet, but Albedo, we've seen. And it explains all about them. And then it goes on to explain a little bit about Shion, but then episode 3 is Shion, Shion, Shion. And it's really well done, actually. It's all a. I just have a love for the rest of the series. Zensaka 1, not so much. Zensaka 2, not so much. Zensaka 3 is absolutely fantastic. Now, the reason why I'm not doing Zensaka 3 straight away is obviously because Zensaka 3 straight away would be a silly idea. No, none of you would have any idea what the hell's going on. Oh, bollocks. I hate how dexterous they are. Mm. But yeah, sorry, I'm just eating and drinking. Eating and feasting! Well, after this, I'm just going to start cutting the, cutting the battles, they just take far too long. And we're getting almost nowhere. Like, getting a screen in an episode is ridiculous. Don't worry, though, we actually are semi near the end. We're about halfway through the map. The map, this place is huge. Do you remember what Cosmo said? It was, uh, not obviously quite big. Oh, God. 150. Well done, Ziggs. Ziggy, I should. This proper name is Ziggy Ronade. We've reverted to Ziggy now, we've reverted to Ziggs. Well, aren't I a complete idiot? No, douche. Okay, right. Who needs to be killed now? Goodness me. Freaking evading everything. No! Ah! He said, screaming. Uh, oh god, I'd be hate him. Just, just, just kill that. Get out of the way. There we go. Pity can't target someone else afterwards, but there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I hate that saying. I hate what I'm saying. Mind Man, I would so use those six AP points that I've gained above. There we go. It has. Oh, right. Well, okay, that worked out best for me. Uh, times four. These guys give you four point times four points because I'm pretty sure that points are fairly rubbish to begin with. Yeah, well, obviously that points are fairly rubbish. Uh, man, we haven't got much out of the way of ten points. Seventy-four. It's going to take forever to get to grind to get what I want out of this. Okay, from now on I'll cut the battles, which is going to annoy me, but there we go. Okay, somewhere around here we want to have Momo out actually because there's something she can get. In fact, I think it's here. I think it's there actually. Right, we're going to um battle formation. Ziggy replace Momo. And then we're going to create Momo as the uh, leader. She needs to be the leader to find these things. Um. <clears throat> okay, guys, we're back. I think it's here where we find it. Mm. Not sure where. So I'm just going to uh, heal and I'll, you know, herbs. One thing you want to come out of this area, make sure you have 600 gil. Gil? Gold, I mean. It's uh, imperative, making sure you have 600 gold. So, alright, this guy's... <clears throat> For some reason, I'm feeling pretty crap when it comes to this episode. I don't know what it is. Okay, well, we've healed everyone up. Um, and there are two ways we can head around. And I forget which way is which. Um, there must be an enemy around here. There is an enemy around here. Yes. Got him. Or else watch the... Oh, great, they've got slow. Fantastic. Oh, great. So again, Momo, you appear to me as absolutely useless. No! Why did I do that? Great. Full health. Another waste of a go. I like the way it revived more health than I took off originally. Once again, fantastic, guys. Um, ah. Uh, why did I just use two frigging... No, I didn't. I used a uh, a lot. A real beef phone. 
I apologise for that, it was my mother on the phone. Um, okay, we need to kill someone in this go, really. Um, so what we need to do is, I think we should just do that. Why did I do that? Oh, it doesn't matter, Curse Mouse is good enough to just kill them anyway. <laughs> I didn't know, I thought I was, I thought it was Momo! <laughs> Oh, crazy man, crazying about being crazy. Oh, well, I could. Oh god, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Okay, this is really dangerous now. In fact, no, that's going to awaken. She yeah, they awake after an attack. So sleep in this game is great if you never attack them. So really, it's just to kind of put them to sleep. So while well, shit happens, it happens. Really, my explanation. If you're going to be honest. Uh, we've got fairy. We've got okay. Who are we now? Uh, let's just get some. There we go. That's, that's the sh yeah, that kills it. It's easier than having to wait for the entire rain blade, or our blade, or our cannon, or G string, or I don't know, S spot, or whatever they want to call it these days. Whatever one of these kids want to call it, little homosexual fairies. These, oh, they're fairies. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I just lost all concentration. Oh, it's got a cool angle. That was nice. That looked pretty awesome, actually. We're suddenly running on walls, though. Oh, no. Type or you do the high bander. I don't even cross breath on Momo. Oh no, okay, that was nasty. Uh, once again, you're absolutely useless. Do some healing and a little more. I don't know why, why, why as well. <coughs> I could actually like them all out this turn. Um, if she gets one on the left, um, we should be fine to get them. In fact, I hope this one don't work. Okay, bigger than 104, bigger than 140, 141 damage. That's what we need 141 damage. Fantastic, Shion. You're my babe. You did it. Good girl. Okay. Now you know exactly what you need to do, because most you're the one who mechanically works out all these numbers in your head. You need to get over. I don't even know you'll do it anyway. Come on, my girl. Now that's the shit. Well done, fan. Get in there. You see, this is this is how I get with this game. Nice boob shot. Nice pant shot. Yeah, fantastic. Although to be honest, it doesn't really matter with Cosmos. There are plenty of reasons why it doesn't matter with Cosmos. Uh, okay, so we have to head down to head up. I know. This is like in every video game, isn't it? You have to do the opposite to get back to where you were originally. Anyway, there is a character over here which gives you a particularly nice weapon, but um, a guide I've been reading says not to kill it because you can come back and get a tech upgrade Z. And if I'm going to be honest, a tech upgrade Z. I mean Z. Z. Not Z. Um, I can't be arsed. There we go. See, it's glinting in the corner. That It only glints when you've got Momo because she's a reality, an observation reality, so apparently she can observe it. Right, okay. We need to switch Shion out now. Um, battle formation. Place Shion with the uh, kills. These guys are weak. I'm pretty sure to um to to chaos's. In fact, we'll see now. But I'm not not uh, able to analyze them. Fantastic. Barely. These guys have got so much health, and they can revive as well. So it's a nice thing to not kind of. Yes. That's right. Seal. I, I so want to make it some form of April days. Oh my gosh, it's nearly April the 1st. You guys know what that means, don't you? It means April the 1st videos. And you all have already seen it. I love the way I love the way Cosmos just obliterates anything in the path. Oh, beautiful. Is it dead yet? Oh, I wanted to kill it on a point score. Your enemies have been exterminated. Oh well. You see, I know what I'm talking about, just. Sadly, we didn't um, analyze that enemy, but at the moment, it's not too much of a problem. Ooh, there's a waterfall. Why would there be a waterfall here? Okay, this is out of this area. We don't actually want to go out just yet. Um, I'll end once I've avoided the enemy. There's an enemy which we have to get, and there's an enemy which we don't actually have to get, and I'm not going to go get him because, of, as I said, there is there are reasons. I'm not just being, not just totally jack shit. Where the hell do I get there from? Okay, let's just have a look at the map. Oh, balls! Am I a total wad of douche douchiness? I appear to be so. Let's head back up and round the, uh... God, I can't wait to get out of this area. My capture card will be like, Colour! What is this colour you speak of? I don't know why it's got a weird accent. Maybe it's called Hapage. So it should be called, ooh, ooh, because it's French. But no, Hapage is actually an Irish company. Or at least that's where they manufacture them in Ireland. Anyway, this! Crucial you get it. <laughs> it's the first time she's ever said anything about being su suspicious. Okay, so now Momo has got the Ether attack. Um, let's just use Ether points. Starwind. She's learnt it, and you can 
uh, extrapolated into two others, Star Veil, and this is only available during Star Wind. Now this is one of her transformations, now we'll show it off afterwards. Um, Star Veil, all allies only during Star Wind, one ally, uh, it doesn't tell you what they actually do though, which is a bit of a nasty thing. Okay, but mainly we want to go to her tech attack, so, gosh, if, if, uh, it's nice if they, it'd be nice if they put it all onto one menu, at least, okay, use tech points. Magic Caster, now, as soon as that's available, I'm going to do it, because Magic Caster, um, when you transform, you can steal rare items, and it always works, and it's worth the transformation, however, Remember, as with all other, point, other attacks, you need to equip them um, in the set menu. Uh, let's see. No, move. Set. We need to set Star Wind, and we also need to oh, set Downforce and Down Dex. That'll be handy in the future. And set Boost 1. Uh, anyone else got. Oh, no. Uh, no. Okay, right. Anyone else has got another, another other point to do something? No. She has. Is it worth it? Well, let's see what. No, let's see what life do we do it isn't worth it. Star Wind, and there's one also at the bottom. Uh, Dark Scepter, I think it's called. We still have a couple of points. So she, she, Cosmos. I'm pretty sure she's not actually getting any other points. Feels like she isn't. Um, 110. That's not enough. Okay, so now we can steal items, which means I can calm down a little now. Uh, so two at the bottom. Oh, this, what's the one he's a, a life shot, isn't it? Because I took a life shot. Okay. Um, I've got all that sorted out. Let's. Right, we can, there's a bridge which we can make fall here, down there, and there's a very nice item, but that guy's got a tech upgrade Z, as I said, so we're not going to go fight him now, we're going to come back later on, um, he's not an enemy which disappears completely, but the tech upgrade Z is they just help out, you know, they just help out a lot later on, so we're going to head round and back, round and down and whatever, up and left and right, and up down through a, probably a hormone and stab someone in the eye, or I don't even Okay, so when we get to the end of this area, it's going to be, uh, I'll see you in the next part, and um, let's see what we've got next. Uh, where's this B, uh, A to B, B to B, C, oh, okay, this is what I thought we're here. It would be prepared for boss time. In fact, we've got a um, uh, an item place we can stock up and refuel and that kind of stuff, so we're nearly at a save point, um, and usually I'd say we'll wait to the save point because then I can quit, I don't intend quitting anytime soon. Notice I actually went to the phone, and now I'm in a really good mood. Like, my commentary has improved, like, 80-fold. Just how it happens. We're probably in for a cutscene. So I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Zenit Saga. See you guys.